How you doing today? I'm Jim and today we're going to do a review and comparison of two portable air inflators aka rechargeable pumps uh, mostly used for bikes and scooters. At least that's the use that I am reviewing them in terms of. Uh, my biggest recommendation on any of these inflators is getting a straight in nozzle like this because if you know and I'm going to put in a picture right now uh, scooter tires are known for having a nearly inaccessible valve stem and you you have like v-set scooters come with this to help out you can get some like this um, but this little nozzle works for most all scooters that i've found so far um, so don't get one of these anything with the angle like this like your old bike pump it just isn't going to do it you can't even get it in there I know I talked about weight. If you're curious, these old bike pumps, this is 130 grams, and this one's you know three, almost 400 and almost 500. So you are you do have a weight penalty, but you're probably on an e-bike or e-scooter, so it doesn't matter that much. This is a pump that I have used for in about four months. I bought it myself on Amazon. It was $47.99, made by Vastar, and then I was contacted by Psych Plus. Um, about reviewing their A8 pump. Initially, I was asked if I would buy one, and after I posted a positive review, then uh, they reimbursed me. I, I don't do that, so I, I, I only do honest reviews, so they were nice enough to still send it to me, and I've seen some other reviewers look at the same pump. This pump retails for $49.99. Now, Right off the bat, when I looked at a first look of these, from a build quality standpoint, this one looks better. It's got a little aluminum outer shell, why this one's all plastic. Uh, the bag is a little bit nicer that they go into. Um, I don't really remember what the box was like this up, up top of my head now, but um, it's got a pretty nice box with some directions on the back and a little manual inside. Uh, both these pumps are rechargeable with USB-C. They come with a few different nozzles um and an inflator valve type things i'll put on the screen here some of the specs between them uh, this pump weighs about 100 grams more about 2.2 pounds more it has more battery 600 milliamp hours more of battery uh, this one's rated 150 psi versus 120 psi on this one and since psych plus was nice enough to send me this i would like to then return the favor and send this to someone else. So if you leave a comment down below, I'm gonna use a ram random comment picker to uh, figure out who gonna gets this particular pump sent in the mail to them for nothing. Um, th they both have a digital display that turns on with just a little bit of a hold, uh, and th this little rubberized keypad. The keypad on the Psych Plus pump does feel a little bit nicer. Um, like I said, they both have USB-C. This one's on the bottom versus this one on the top. For some reason, I kind of like the one on the top a little bit better. Um, Hose-wise, this one stores inside of the pump. And you can see here that the hose is about half as long. So, both of these have a little LED light on the top. Come on now. I always had a little bit of trouble getting this one to come on. There it goes. So they both have a keypad that comes on. I mean, a little light that comes on for you know helping out in the dark. Um, they both have a number of presets. Uh, so one is like car mode, bike mode, you know, motorcycle. Uh, has, the one has a basketball. It has some preset inflation points. Uh, on this pump, you can move that up and down as you will, and it holds that. Um, in the Psych Plus pump, there's only one menu setting that's like the custom. Oh, I just accidentally turned it on. <laughs> The custom setting that allows you to change it and actually remembers it. If you don't change it, it defaults back to its presets. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but I like I like how this actually holds its uh, whatever you set it to in its memory. And those different presets have some bounds on where they allow your pressure to be. Both of these do read pressure in just about any type of units you would like them to be into, and it's easy to change between those. And then you just simply toggle up and down the pressure, and both of these, when they reach the set pressure, they turn themselves off. Um, as far as the other attachments that they come with, of course the bag, um, 
They both have a Presta valve nozzle. I was gonna do a test with these, but I found both of them really problematic to use. So if you have Presta valve tubes, it's not gonna be very easy to use these pumps with it, in my experience. Just be aware of it, they're really better suited for Schrader valves, which is kind of, if you aren't certain, it's the bigger valves that most people are used to seeing. Since I'm, a, if you're watching my videos, you know I'm a database guy, like subscribe, all that stuff. So I did three different tests to kind of narrow down what I thought, which of these pumps was the best. First test, I did the time to inflate a 26 inch tire from basically flat to, I think I did 50 PSI. pump ain't doing it. It said it's 60 PSI. I don't think it's going to make it. Let's try number two on the Psych Plus pump. It took three minutes and 33 seconds for this pump and, uh, sorry, four minutes, seven seconds, and three minutes and 33 seconds. So the little higher volume, bigger battery seemed like it inflated a little faster. Even though the first time I ran the test, I couldn't get this past 50 PSI. Um, this pump in particular is real sensitive to how seated this hose is. So if you're not seeing your pressure go up, it kind of stops at a low, it was about 30 PSI. Check, check your hose for being fully seated. I've noticed that on both of these, sometimes that will be that happens. So the second test I wanted to run was noise level because I find this pump one of the only negatives with it is it is loud. So as far as the decibel meter goes, it, they're only a decibel off from each other. This one does have a much lower pitch. So to my ear, it sounds quite a bit quieter than this one. And the last test I ran was I wanted to kind of find a way to figure out the battery life because the battery difference is quite a bit on these two. Um, so I had two bikes set up with each with 27 inch tires, 650B if you're a metric person. All right, I killed the Vastar pump after, if you would believe this, nine tires, nine twenty-seven point five by two point eight and two inch tires, and then uh, just a little bit on the tenth tire. Way more than I expected. Alright, so the Psych Plus did inflate some more tires than the other pump did. It seemed like it would do a little slower at the end. Um, it got real hot, like uh, 167 degrees, where the other one got up to like 129. Both pretty hot, but this Psych Plus pump is very hot. Uh, the tubing was actually 184 degrees. So, but both can plump a, pump a whole bunch of tires. And those 
I thought it would be about four tires. This one did nine tires and a little bit more, and this one at, tw at 12 tires, did 12 tires. So kind of wrapping up my comparison of these two pumps, I think a lot of people would say, oh man, I take this pump higher over this one. It lasts a little bit longer, has a little higher pressure. The, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why I actually prefer this pump. So this pump, I find I really like the hose storage in the pump. It's just really convenient. It has a thing where it pushes out the other end and I just like this. This works okay. You just have to you know, wind the hose into the bag um, and you really do need to detach it. There's not really room for it to be like this and they'd put some pressure on this part of the pump. So you kind of have to pull it, unwind it anyway. So I kind of like having the spot for it in the pump. The biggest thing that this has that this one doesn't is a depressurization valve. So say it got real hot and you, and you actually need to lose, you know, remove pressure from your tire instead of having to use like something to hit the valve stem to let it out. On this one, you can just hook up and you just let it out. And both of these, as soon as you hook them up to a tire, give you the current pressure reading. So I use this in my time to inflation test to pull them all down to the same starting pressure. So I, I find that really handy and that it also has a benefit of when you're taking the nozzle off of the tube. It allows you to like let some air out so it seems like it doesn't deflate as much. So I like this pump. I'm glad it's the one I bought when I bought it. Um, it also doesn't time off quite as fast. This one already shut back off and this one's still on. Um, I kind of like that that too. So this still works quite good. Psych Plus I think has a good product here. It, you know, the $2 difference when I first saw these was surprised it was only $2 different. I don't think you would necessarily go wrong with either of these pumps. I just like a few of the features of this Vastar pump a little bit better. So hope this helps you out if you're looking for one of these. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe. Like and su I'm just going to like and subscribe. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Catch the wave. Feel the